All right, let's take a look on how do we customize the Credence WordPress theme homepage. So once you log in, and of course the login, you go to your URL slash wp-admin, you log in, put in your credentials and all that cool stuff, and then just click back here on top on the name of your of your blog or, or website and once you are here on top you will have the edit page button now sometimes you might not have that because sometimes your designer might have chosen a page um, to be your home page in that case you would go into your dashboard and click on pages um, well let me show you that too quick, quickly here so here you go to pages and actually the page that was chosen to be your home page will say here home page like the blog says post pages that one will say oh front page here it is so we have that here as well so front page so you can go either from pages or just go to your website and then on the top you click on edit page but if you don't see the edit page you can come here and then you click on this and once you are in then you see this new editor the visual editor and this is your slider now to edit your slider you will not be able to edit it here you can choose the slider you want here but you cannot edit it so um, let's say let's see here mm. well guys I'm recording can you like So you click in here and then you can uh, choose whichever slider you want. I have a yoga home and a yoga home copy. So for me it's yoga home. You save changes and then let's see how do we edit the page. So here we want to edit this area right under the slider before I do that let me show you the slider so you'll see your slider right here on the left side um, and of course it depends which slider you use um, so in our case we are using the layer slider so I would need to open the layer slider so I right click on it open a new tab and here and I will not go in depth there are other tutorials on how to uh, edit your slider and create sliders but if you already have a slider then you go to the slider that you need to edit and then to change the image you click on the image and then you can choose from the library or you can upload and select files from your computer and to change the text you go down here and all you do is just change this text here like for us it's access your customized fitness plan within minutes I could just change that if I wanted to but that's all you change don't don't let all the squigglies bother you so that's how you do how you change uh, the info on your sliders if you need to add new sliders you just add new slide and then to, to set an image to choose an image you click to set again you can choose from your library or you can upload you can also move the slides if you want to let's say you like slide number two better you can change it to make it slide number one okay so that's a little bit to, to, to put you in control of your of um, customizing your slides 
and then here we want to change this text right under the slider um, discover your potential so usually you will see the text right here in the visual editor so here we have we can see this text which is under which is under the oh, I know why I can see it okay so sometimes you have to kind of click around to find your your uh, text like in this case too I cannot see the text ah probably it will be right here and you still can't see anything and you know why this is something that many people don't realize the text is in white and your editor is white as well so what you do you double click and then it becomes visible you notice that it's a heading 2 which I like that size so let me add the new text in there so I want this text in there I copied control C or you can right click and uh, and you can move this you can just click here on the top and you can move it you can also resize it if you want it if you like it larger and then to paste it I press control V or you can right click and uh, control V or you can right click and uh, paste so it's still heading to that's good but now it's black so we want to change it back into white or whatever color you want to use and save changes I will update and then I refresh let me see the how it looks maybe it's too long yeah it's a little too, too long and I did like the all caps actually Awaken the new you, unleash your potential. Let's see if we put it in two two lines. Okay, awaken the new you. Let's see dot dot dot. Okay. Save changes, update, and let's see how it looks. Mm. Okay. For now, we'll leave it like that, and then let's see the rest of the text I will enter this text under it okay control C and here's the text that I want to modify and again this is this is tricky with the editor sometimes you will find yourself clicking on the wrong place until you get used to it I triple click that way it highlights everything then control V I will change it back into white save changes update let's re refresh and there you are let us help you get started I want that on a separate line Okay. Oops. Oh, this is the wrong box. Here we are. Okay. Save changes. Okay. So now we have this button, the learn more. You see this button here? that's a clickable button so what we do with that we will link it to another page so learn more button link we can link it to um,
slash um, get started get started and you you just copy the the link from a page that you want to link it to and then you paste it in here alright and you'd save the changes I will not save the changes because I have not created the page where to link it yet and that's about it let me see and if you want to change the image then here's your image on the right side it's the same layout as as you see it on there it's just uh, your backend so as you hover on your image you click on the pencil and here you see the image and then you can click on this add image you, s you can select from your library or upload it and uh, set it now when you pick your image also make sure that you give it a good title ideally de describing your niche or your service and um, and add an alt text something that relates again to your topic and a short description it helps a little bit with the SEO and that's about it let's see we change this alright let me know if you have any questions